Hey guys, Nappy here, and today on Ark Made Easy, we're visiting Ragnarok once again, where I'm going to show you my hidden base location in the carnivorous cavern seen behind me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new content, and if at any time you find yourself enjoying the video, be sure to hit that like button. We're here in the King's Gulch Swamp, located below the castle, coordinates 21.7 by 42.0. This is one of two entrances leading into the Carnivorous Cavern. The Carnivorous Cavern is extremely dark, aside from a few havens where sunlight makes it in and vegetation grows. A light pad or torch will help you see through these dark passages, and hence the name, only two carnivores spawn down here, the Megalosaurus and the Megalania. My suggestion, do not come down here your first time in the middle of the night. Once you reach the bottom of the tunnel entrance, you're going to hang an immediate right. You will find your first haven here. Take the ramp up on the left side. Directly ahead as an immediate dead end. We're going to take the left here and then hug the wall all the way around the right side. On the right side, you will see small green bioluminescent mushrooms. Immediately after this, you will see your second haven. Fly through the light in the middle. And once you reach the other side, hang a right, and you will find a small crevice in the wall. This is my base location that I call the green room. And this is it here. Quite a small little entrance on the front and an even smaller one on the back side. You have bioluminescent mushroom glow in here, so there's no need for lighting. It might seem like a pretty small space, but you'd be surprised what you can fit in here with some careful planning. I originally found this location two and a half years ago when Ragnarok first released, but I've kept it hidden for my own safety. And as you can see here, the bioluminescent mushrooms produce a generous amount of light in the darkness. And just above this, there's even more building space where you could possibly place a turret tower or maybe even a replicator. The most recent time I built in this location, I actually remained undetected with no turrets for eight months. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can fit a fully functional base inside this small space. And here is a perfect solo base, equipped with industrial grinder, grill, fabricator, smithy, chem bench, cooker, cryo and normal fridges, preserving bin, vaults, dedicated storage, and forges. The only thing you can't really fit in this space is an industrial forge or a replicator. As with any time playing solo or duo, my suggestion, never leave any uncryopotted tames inside the base, as well as dormant characters that have logged out. Always kill yourself before exiting the game. This will help decrease your chances of being spotted by a parasaur. That's it for this one, keep on surviving! As always, thanks for watching, you can go ahead and check out my latest video down below, more Ark Made Easy over on the left, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel down in the corner, and I'll see you in the next one.